Let's take a look at the bond angles for SO2. This is sulfur dioxide. So when we're looking at the bond angles, we need to start with a valid Lewis structure. So this is a Lewis structure for SO2. Sometimes you'll see this Lewis structure with a single bond and a double bond. It turns out the best structure or most likely has two double bonds. But here that really doesn't matter when we're looking at molecular geometry and bond angles. If you need help drawing the Lewis structure for SO2, there's a link in the description at the end of this video. So when we look at SO2, we can see that we have these two oxygens on either side. It might make you think that it's going to be linear. But this lone pair here, that occupies space. It's going to force these oxygens down. And when it does that, we end up with a bent molecular geometry. Let's look at that in three dimensions. So the purple, that'll be our sulfur. And then we're going to add the two oxygen atoms. They're double bonded like this. And you see they spread out. They give us this linear molecular geometry. But remember that lone pair. When we add that lone pair in, that forces everything down. So this gives us the bent molecular geometry. The bond angle, about 120 degrees. For SO2, it ends up being 119 degrees. So very close. Let's go back. So because we have this lone pair here pushing the oxygens down, we end up with this bent molecular geometry and we have bond angles of about 120 degrees. If you need help with the molecular geometry here, there's a link at the end of this video. This is Dr. B with the bond angles for SO2, sulfur dioxide. Remember that lone pair? That's what's pushing the oxygen atoms down and giving us 119 degrees. Thanks for watching.